All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm in my RV. This is my 2018 Thor Hurricane Class A motorhome. And I'm looking at this AutoVox Solar 4 rear view camera system for RVs, trailers, any kind of trailer system, any kind of vehicle, really, you could put this in. Um, I needed to come up with a, with a solution. I got this RV probably five, six months ago, and I just haven't been able to consistently get the rear view camera and monitor thing to work How that's installed in this from the factory. I even bought a new head unit that didn't work. So uh, AutoVox reached out and we're partnering uh, with this video to kind of show you how this system works. And I want to give you kind of a true review on how this system is going to work with this RV. Here's everything you get with the AutoVox Solar 4 kit. The monitor comes with its own power plug. The, the plug comes with just a 12, it's a 12 volt power source. So you just plug that right in to your 12 volt socket. I like that it has the USB USB-A port right here. So you're even though you're using up at one of your, your 12 volt sockets, you still have charging abilities for you know a cell phone charger or something like that. So that was well thought of. This is the camera. The camera that it comes with is is battery powered. So when I first got it, like I, I got this yesterday, I charged it up. It comes with an included USB uh, micro USB cable. I just plug that in for six hours, charge it up. So it's fully charged up. There's a power button here. And then going forward. I'm going to use the solar panel. This is a little solar panel that it comes with. This solar panel is going to plug into this same US micro USB outlet, and it's going to keep the battery trickle charged during sunlight hours. So it's only going to take about a couple hours a day to keep this charged up so it's ready to use. And then there's a couple of mounts that it's going to come with. There's an extended antenna, so if your trailer is really long or RV is really long and you're not getting the signal, you can boost the signal of the camera by installing this little antenna and stretching the cord further down the roof for example we've got some we have a magnetic mount that we're going to that we're probably going to have to use this and then we have a this mount this mount here is if you're going to screw this directly onto the wall of your rv you would screw this onto the wall four screws there and then on the back of the camera there's just these little prongs that slide right down into here and that would, that's how it would go on a, on a vertical surface. I'm going to have to install it on a horizontal surface. So let me show you my situation and how we're going to install this. Well, here's the rear of my RV. This little black dot right here in the middle, that's my existing rear view camera where it's located. There's really not a lot of room in there for this new camera to go in that slot to take that out. Uh, we have this curved area right here that's kind of hard to mount on. We've got the window and then we've got our license plate and everything right here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to install it on the roof with the bracket and it's going to be looking down from the roof and I'll have the solar panel up on the roof so where it's going to get the maximum amount of sun. Now let me show you how I'm going to set this up to install in my situation. So I have a magnetic bracket, the screw in bracket, the camera, and this metal. This is going to be kind of my horizontal mount that I'm going to use. So what I'm going to do is this would mount to the to the to the the roof surface of the RV. Now I'm a little leery about screwing holes. It does come with screws, four screws to go right in here. I'm a little leery of screwing holes into the, the roof of my RV. I just don't want any extra holes. I don't want any intrusion point of water. I don't want an extra place to have to seal up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount this on here like this. So that mounts onto the base like this. And then I'm going to get some construction adhesive, construction glue, construction adhesive like some Gorilla Glue. And I'm going to put that adhesive right here. I'm going to glue it onto the roof of the RV so it's sitting like this. And then on the back of the camera, I'm going to get the magnetic base here. I'm going to install this magnetic base. There's a little set screw from the bag here. I'm just going to use the included Allen. Set that in so that way that doesn't move out of the way. And then when this is adhered to the roof, this will magnetic magnetize to this piece here and I can adjust. Now this can adjust. This is the kind of a side profile of how it's going to look on the roof. You can see this is the roof. This is going to be it's going to be magnetic to that and then this this camera you can adjust the angle of this. This this adjust. You can feel it's pretty heavy duty. It doesn't uh, you know it does take some force to adjust that. And then we have our antenna screwed in on the side here. This is advertised as a really quick 10-minute installation. Uh, mine's not going to be that hard. Well, once you figure out the spot that you want to mount this, I think it's a pretty quick installation. This is a very strong magnet. Uh, so mine's going to be sitting on my roof like this, and then I'll have my USB micro USB cord plugged in here. The cable will go around here, 
and then the panel will be somewhere back behind up on the roof. So you won't see this panel, which I don't want to have to see this. I really don't want to see the, the solar panel while it's sitting up there. You'll really be able to only see just kind of the top of the camera, and this will be able to look down at the back, and we'll be able to see a, kind of a reversing. Uh, it'll be a nice backup camera back there. So I'm up, up on the roof of my RV. This is looking down the back here. My center area is right here, right at this center light here. I'm just going to clean off this area right here. Make sure it's nice and clean. I've got some rubbing alcohol on this. I've got some of this Gorilla Glue, this construction adhesive on here in the middle. All right, so what I want to do is I want to let that sit for a little while just until I put the camera up there. And then in similar fashion, I have my AC unit right here. So I'm right on the edge here. I think what I want to do is I want to have the solar panel somewhere over here. It'll be able to reach there quite easily. Okay, this is kind of a side angle of where my mount is mounted. And from down on the ground, you can see the mount at the top there. So it'll give the, the camera a nice angle looking right down from the top. I'm up here in the driver's area and I want to get my screen mounted. This is going to be the monitor where I'm going to view my rear view camera. And just figuring out a good spot. I have my, you know, my GPS here, my cell phone here. I think right here in the middle would be a great spot for this monitor to be able to view the backup camera. So there is some included 3M adhesive. So I just removed the backing here, put it on there. What I want to do first though is I want to plug it in and just kind of test it out, pair the camera with the monitor so everything's working so before I go up on the roof I know everything's paired working ready to go so this is all charged up okay we got power oh we actually have uh, the camera right here so looks like uh, everything's paired and we have our grid lines here so I didn't really need to pair it we can go into some of the settings here on the screen you can adjust uh, brightness the guidelines the display upside down we can flip the image on the screen and it'll look normal so it's already right exactly how I want it so there's no issue there now what I can do is I can go up on the roof make sure that the signal is going to transmit okay guys so I'm back up on the roof here this mount is really solid this has had overnight to cure and that glues seem to work really well so now I just want to mount this solar panel uh, really you only have about that much length of cord to deal with so as far as hooking this up the tab that says USB, I'm going to open that up, I'm going to install this. Now I want this USB outlet and cord to be on the underside of this because I just don't want any water pulling up in there. So I think I want to have that facing down like that. Antenna up like that. I'm going to remove the double-sided tape here. This isn't probably critical or necessary, but I have this piece of Eternabond tape use this to hold down this wire so i'm just going to gather the wire up here just so it doesn't flap around give it a little more a little extra security here now we have our so we've got our solar panel here the wire going into the camera the camera is man magnetically mounted onto this base here so that can be removed if needed so here's the view after i've put the camera up there you can tell the camera looks really looks good up there it doesn't uh, stand out looks nice and I really haven't had to modify my RV at all. It really was a pretty simple, straightforward installation of that. So let's go inside. We'll check the signal. So after adjusting the camera just a little bit, pointing it down, it is adjustable. Uh, this is kind of the view that I have, and it looks great. The, the picture looks good. The back of the RV is right here on the edge, and so this will be a good kind of backup camera, not only rear view, probably a good rear view mirror as well. I'll be able to see qu quite a ways back. I can see side and I have kind of my guidelines here. Now, because mine's up on the very top of the roof, the guidelines are pointed down a little bit. I think that this is a great solution here and I've got a great field of view. I'll be able to see cars behind me, be able to back up uh, back into campsites pretty easily. I also have a battery monitor here up in the top right. The, the battery monitor is showing the battery status of the camera. So it's nice that it shows that. With it only getting a couple hours of sunlight, that should keep it charged up. Um, overnight, infrared mode, it should last around four hours at night, which is cool. Uh, this monitor, you can set how, how and when it times out. 
So we can we can put it at 120 seconds, 240 seconds, or never. So if we have it on never, it'll never change this. I can change that mode if I need if I need to. So where you'd want it to have just 120 or 240 second timeout is let's just say you're using it as a backup camera. You just hit the OK button when the display's off. It'll pop right back. It'll pop on, stay on for a few minutes, and then turn off. So that's going to help save the battery, especially at nighttime when it's not getting charged by the solar panel. Double-sided tape here, and then we I can just put this right where I want. Put it right in the middle here. And this rubber pad that it sits on is flexible, so if your surface isn't exactly flat, it'll still adhere to it, which is nice. Okay, so overall, I'm really impressed with this camera system. It was easy to install. It was quick, straightforward. I didn't have to pair the monitor and the camera together. They came paired, so that was great. You can also purchase a separate camera, and this monitor can accept two different cameras, so you can have double view if you need to, uh, side view, another rear view camera. Uh, so that's, and the fact that they're, really you can put these wherever they want because they are battery powered. They're not really running on any kind of wire. That's, that's a great feature. I also did not have to use the extended antenna system that is provided. So if you do have a longer trailer and there's a longer transmission range, this might be needed. In my situation, about 33 feet, it wasn't needed. Overall, I'm impressed with how easy it was to install. It wasn't that hard at all. Getting up on the roof, probably the hardest part. Uh, finding where you want to install it, that's probably the, the, the biggest challenge. Just trying to figure out the good spot. I figured that having mine on the roof was going to be the best solution. I didn't want to have that solar panel really showing anywhere on the on, on the back side of my RV. I wanted it up on the roof where it's going to get the most sun and where it's kind of hidden away. I thought the solution I came up with was, was pretty good. My camera, the, the angle of the camera is, you know, it is sitting up high and it is shooting down low so I don't get like a true like rear view. Uh, but it does have a wide angled lens so I am able to see quite a bit and it does have these guidelines. I'm impressed with the picture quality. The picture quality is great. This is in 1080p bright colors the infrared we tried it at, I've tried it at night the infrared colors the infrared at night is, is really good this can go almost four hours of continuous use at night in infrared mode so even though it's not getting charged by the solar panel at night it still have four hours of, of continuous use at night in infrared mode which I don't I don't know if I see foresee myself using this in continuous mode I really don't need to see behind my RV all the time like a rear view mirror I really don't need to have that but in the daytime, when I'm driving in the daytime, which I do most of my drive driving in daytime, I can just turn it on continuous mode and it will give me that rear view uh, that rear view that I need or want continuously. At nighttime, I guess that might be one of the downsides is at nighttime, you're going to have to be a little more conservative with using the infrared mode at night because you only have about four hours of continuous use, which that is quite a bit. But just be aware, if you're doing a lot of night driving, you could burn the battery up and then when you need to pull into your spot, you may not have your backup camera because the battery's dead on it. So I think this is a great solution, especially at the price point that it's at. It's a great value. The fact you don't have to run wires, you don't have to worry about you know wiring it up to the reverse lights. It just is a really simple installation and that's what I was really looking for. And for the price point, I think it's a great value. So guys, see the link down below. Big shout out to AutoVox for uh, sponsoring and collaborating with me on, the, on this project. I think it's a great project. See the link down below. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.